Hi, my name's Justin Upham, and welcome to North American TV. While you pack for your move, you may think all your household items are safe for moving. Well, you might want to think again. What about batteries, fertilizer, or cleaning fluids? And what do you do with perishables like food or live plants? Each of these items requires special handling when packing, and movers must follow specific rules and regulations when it comes to moving them. In this video, we'll give you a list of what not to pack on moving day and the steps you should take to ensure your move is both safe and smart. Here's a list of items you should not pack. All items that are considered dangerous or perishable items. Dangerous items include explosives, compressed gases, flammable liquids and solids, oxidizers, poisons, corrosives, and radioactive materials. These items are illegal to move and any reputable moving company will not move them. A list of dangerous items include nail polish remover, paints and paint thinners, lighter fluid, gasoline, fireworks, oxygen bottles, propane cylinders, automotive repair and maintenance chemicals, radio pharmaceuticals, and matches. If you have any of these items, be sure to either give them to your neighbor or call your fire station, recycling company, or the Environmental Protection Agency to find out how to properly dispose of them. Perishable items include food and live plants. Refrigerators and freezers should be emptied out and cleaned at least 24 hours prior to moving day and should be properly dried to prevent the growth of mold. Perishable items can easily decay, rot, or spoil during the move and are not recommended as items to be packed. However, if you are moving locally, some companies may agree to move some perishable items if packaged properly. Another category of items not to pack would be special items. Special items would include exercise equipment, heavy electronic domestic items such as washing machines and dryers, and old playground sets. These items are not only a hassle to pack, but are also extremely costly to pack because of how heavy they are. It's best to leave these items at the old house if you want to save yourself a lot of pain and money. The last category of items that shouldn't be packed are valuable items. Valuable items include things such as passports, birth certificates, financial statements, medical records, coin collections, photos, and jewelry. Instead of placing your valuables in a box and sending them on the moving van, it's best to keep them within reach and take them in the car with you when moving day arrives. So now that you know what not to pack on moving day, let's talk about other steps you can take prior to your move. Remember to drain your oil and fuel from garden tools and other machinery. Disconnect any battery operated equipment from its battery and disconnect propane tanks and return them to collection centers. By following these simple steps and remembering that dangerous, perishable, special, and valuable items are on the do not pack list, you'll be in the fast lane when it comes to move day. With North American TV, I'm Justin Umpthum wishing you a safe and easy move.